Welcome back to the Drivers Hub, and today we have a very interesting drag racer line for you guys. Over here is a Stage 3 Polo GT TSI. It has a hybrid turbocharger and a host of mods, and all of that makes 170 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. This is one hell of a car, and it's going to be very, very fast. And over here, this is my Polo GT TSI. This is a Stage 2 car. It's running a downpipe and a few more mods here and there. But this is the winner of the A4 category at the Valley Run. So we're going to line up these two cars and see if a Stage 2 versus a Stage 3 actually makes a big difference. The Stage 3 car was running some sticky 215 section Bridgestone Potenzas on 17 inch rims. But it was running some mild gearbox issues, but nothing too major to diminish its performance. The Stage 2 car was on some horrid Michelin Primacy 4s and they were absolutely shredded and barely catch grip if you turn the traction control off. But the Stage 2 car did not have any sort of gearbox issues. So let's see today which modified Polo GT TSI comes out on top. The first two three times we ran the race, the stage three car was not able to get an optimum launch. So in the fourth round, once the stage three car got a hang of the launch, the results were completely different. There weren't any straightforward results to declare a winner, so this is our conclusion. When it comes to front wheel drive cars, it is all on the launch and who can negate wheel spin the most. And when it comes to stage 2 versus stage 3, it all depends on the tune. The stage 3 really comes into its own after 100 km an hour and in that scenario, the stage 3 car would absolutely annihilate the stage 2 car with its superior turbocharger and higher horsepower figure. But the Stage 2 car with its less horsepower and to be honest better condition gearbox was consistently getting a better launch and was actually able to pull away from the Stage 3 car in some instances despite its 40 horsepower deficit. So our conclusion is whatever you are modifying it doesn't matter just make sure you know what you are doing and you are comfortable with the tuner you are working with. Thank you so much for watching, like this video, share this video with your friends if you found it interesting. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.